is going on everybody? Welcome back to Tread's Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson and today I'm going to show you how I made these. Beautiful, delicious, smoky, cheesy, chili-y, smoked chili cheese sausages. Coming up. This is some meat. Pat them dry. And what I got here is two chuck roasts. Got these from my friends over at Porter Road. And these are looking absolutely beautiful, nicely tied up. And it kind of seems like a shame to grind these up and turn them into sausage. But I think that means we're just gonna have some extra good sausage because this meat is dry aged after all. And we're gonna make an all beef sausage today. Only seems fitting if we're making a chili cheese sausage that it be all beef, but I'm sure it'd be fine with pork in it as well. So as always, same procedure, just gonna cube this up so it fits in the meat grinder easier and gets nice and cold really quickly, ensuring that we get a nice clean grind. I'm also gonna bust out some of this. This is the fat that I trimmed off of the prime rib a few weeks back. By a few weeks, I mean like months. Just to add some more fat content to the sausage. And you know what? Dry aged beef with prime rib fat. I think this might be the best sausage I ever make. And there we go, five pounds of beef going into the freezer to get nice and cold. While that meat chills down, let's go ahead and get our spices together. Starting with one packet of nice and plump Chud's Barbecue Starter Mix. This is designed for five pounds of meat and that's exactly what we got. And this is just a great place to start making sausages, especially if you're new to it, because it's got the perfect amount of salt. It's also got the milk powder binder in there already, as well as some garlic and basic flavor profiles for a nice savory, balanced flavored sausage. But we're gonna doctor it up. That's why it's called a starter mix. So for our chili flavor profile, we're gonna go in with some guajillo chili powder, some ancho chili powder, some paprika, a little bit of chili de arbol, add a little kick, and and lastly, some cumin. And I did think about making a chili puree and using that as my liquid, but I don't know, I feel like that might be bitter. We'll have to try it one day. Today we're going with the powdered stuff. Just get that all nice and mixed up and our spice mix is done. Huh. And now that our meat is nice and cold, through the grinder we go. Got the coarse dye on there today. We're just gonna send it through. Beautiful. Lovely clean grind on that. Lovely stuff. Now we're gonna go in with all of our spices. Loving the color of that. And get that all nice and mixed up. And go in with our liquid, which today is some homemade beef stock. Oh yeah. Should add some nice, rich, gelatinous, beefy flavors. And get that all nice and mixed up. Now that's looking nice and tacky, nice and red. We're gonna go in with our cheese. This is some high temp cheddar cheese. And I'm going pretty heavy with the cheese for this chili cheese sausage. So now I'm gonna get all this evenly incorporated, finish this mix, and it'll be time to case. Going on with some natural hog casings today. These are 28 mil, a little bit thinner than traditional, but I like it like that. Tie it off, snip the tip, and we case away. Just gonna do some classic, nice, plump little weans today. But you could do sea links, you could do horseshoes, one big rope. It's up to you, folks. Oh no, there's a hole. It's not ideal. I wonder if I could just go past it. Surprised that worked. I am this far in the process when I realized that I didn't put any pink curing salt in this. Too far gone at this point, folks. So I guess we're gonna do an uncured sausage today, which is fine with me. Just means can't cold smoke it, which I kind of wanted to do just because I imagine this being a very nice red plump link, but it's all good. And just like that, a bunch of beautiful plump little sausages. I'm gonna put these in the fridge overnight just because I was planning on curing these and that's how my schedule looks, but could cook these right now because these are gonna be fresh sausages, but it's also a good thing to let these go overnight because it'll dry out the casings a little bit. It'll dry out the little piece that's in between these. So when we cut them, it'll stick together and still let that salt do its work and let all those spices hydrate. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. So it's a few hours later, folks, same day here. And uh, I'm shooting a couple different vids today. And I just so happen to have this smoker fired up because I am smoking a ham at about 225 degrees. And that's the exact temperature that I want to smoke these sausage links at. So I'm changing the script yet again. Sorry, folks, I'm all over the place today, but I'm in fact gonna throw these on the pit because it just makes sense. Ooh, nice and smoky. And I'm just gonna go right on here. May end up with some dirty links, but that's okay. We can always clean them later. Surrounding this ham with sausage. Beautiful looking ham though. If you haven't seen that video yet, be sure to go check it out. So I'm gonna just rock this, like I said, right around 200, 225, nice and smoky. Get some color on there, dry out those skins a little bit. And we'll check back in. All right, y'all, it's been about two, three hours on these links and they are looking nice and plump, so off they come. It's got a water bath right here, an ice bath rather, and these beauties are going right in. 
Oh, that's a hot one. Temping right around 150, 160 internal. Now we're gonna ice bath and stop the cooking process. It's also gonna shrink up those casings a little bit so we get a nice, tight, snappy bite. But I did spike the temps on that pit a little bit, so these might be a little more shrivelly than I'd like, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. Here we are, fresh out of the water bath. I dried them off and gave them a nice little wipe down to get rid of all those grill marks because everybody loves a clean weenie. So now all we need to do is get these all snipped apart. Beautiful chili cheese sausage mountain. Except for this guy. We have an unclean ween, folks. There we go. And at this point, this guy has crept up to about 275, which is perfect. So I'm gonna take a few of these and throw them on, get them nice and cooked through, crisp up those casings. We'll see how they came out. Should only take about 30 minutes or so. The rest of these will get back sealed up, keep them in the fridge, we'll probably toss them in the freezer. And just like that, off the pit, these come looking nice and greasy, nice and shiny, and feeling very hot. I tempted right around 160. I've got a little shriveled up test link in there. And uh, they don't feel as good as I'd like them to feel. It would appear by breaking almost every rule of sausage making. I have produced a sausage that is not in fact nice and plump. I mean, don't get me wrong, they don't look bad, but I've got the pink salt. I didn't let it rest overnight like I said I should have done. I spiked the temps during the cold smoke shot up to like 300 degrees for a minute before I caught it. Started to render that fat a little prematurely and uh, all in all, I think I just got too cocky folks. I've made so many sausages, but you know what? Just goes to show you, it's not hard to make a good sausage. You just gotta follow each step. But that being said, this still looks pretty good. So we're gonna let it rest down and we'll see how it tastes. All right, let's slice in. Let's see what we're working with here. Ooh, looking nice and cheesy. It's cutting pretty nice. You know, not too bad. Nice and juicy looking, holding its shape, a little bit of a smoke ring. Cheese is looking good. <laughs> Smells good. Let's take a look down the middle, shall we? There we go, that's looking pretty cool. But really, it's all about how it tastes. Good. Mm -hmm. That is phenomenal. That is a lot better than I was expecting it to be. Nice and cheesy. It's got that creamy texture from all that cheddar in there. And I'm kind of liking the texture of this. It's, I don't want to say mushy because that's not an attractive word, but, but the softness of it kind of works. It reminds me of eating like some refried beans or something, like some chili beans with a flavor profile. Wow, that's a lot better than I was expecting. That's really good. Mmm. Mm. Man, that makes a big difference, those chili powders. The cumin is a perfect level for me. Still pretty smoky. It's got the very mildest back end heat. I really should have gone a little heavier with that chili de arbol. But I wasn't really trying to make a super spicy link. I was just trying to get a nice chili cheese link. And I think we accomplished that. Very nice. Mm. I really like that flavor profile. It works. I kind of do want a spicier version of it though, but next time. That is phenomenal. Should we do the old Tyler Hodge? Ooh, nice and juicy. Good God. I take back everything I said. All those techniques I did on purpose, and this came out really, really good. Very happy with this. Mm, it's so juicy. Mm. Then again, it is made with Porter Road dry aged beef and prime rib fat, so that might have something to do with it too. Highly recommend this flavor profile, folks. That is addicting. Mm. Ladies, yeah. would you like some chili cheese beef sausages? Okay. Of course. Choose your, choose your favorite. <laughs> My mouth's watering. Mm. Uh, uh, oh. mm. Dude, uh, that's an, uh, did you invent that? I mean, I was eating a bag of chili cheese Fritos the other day and I had this idea. It tastes just like chili. It tastes like portable chili. Mm -hmm. <laughs> chili in a tube. Should I name the video that? Well, I've never had anything like this in it. Amazing. Yeah, I was just saying that I was aiming for an actual chili flavor, like chili, the dish, not like a super spicy, mm -hmm. but I kind of wish it was spicy. It has a kick. A little bit. It's got a little kick, but it's not spicy, spicy. I just like how cheesy it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't even need the Fritos. <laughs> it's really good. I should have made some tortillas. That'd be a good little sausage wrap. Ooh, yeah. Maybe a little squeeze of sour cream on it. Ooh. This is Nothing the most good. sausage. I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really like the flavor profile of it. Yeah. It's rounded. It's not too in your face. This would be a good staple sausage at a at a barbecue joint or something. Mm -hmm. It's a good cold weather one too. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. Good mm -hmm. job, babe. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. That's what it needs. It needs a big old Kool-Aid man blood. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I might be back for more. Okay. I'm impressed. Seems very simple. You know, I added like three ingredients to the sausage mix, but they're loving it. And you know who else is gonna love it? The official taste tester. They're still in there talking about it. I'm, I'm shocked, you know, especially for a one day sausage. Keeping this one around. Oh. Mm. 
All right, y'all, and that is it. That is how to make an absolutely incredible all beef chili cheese sausage. I highly recommend giving this one a try. That really did come out a lot better than I was expecting and definitely something I'll be making again. But I wanna hear from one of y'all so I can figure out whether it's just the quality of the meats I used or if it's actually a really good recipe. But all that being said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. Let YouTube know by dropping a like on this video. If you do give this recipe a try for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chud's Barbecue. I'd love to see what y'all are cooking. Big shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting Team Chud and allowing me to keep making you all these videos. And until the next time I see you, please, Go cook something outside. Peace.